Hey guys, NCS fan 001 here. Welcome you back to my freaking Mercenaries 2 walkthrough. Last time we did the second level of this wave bike challenge and the second level of the uh, PLAB challenge where you drive the annoying motorboat through the minefields. This time we will do the final level of the wave bike challenge and we will also do the outpost mission. If I miss this again, thank you. Because this is my third take at this part of the mission. I'm dead serious, this is my third take at this mission. Like, on my first try, I should have made it, but I was literally three seconds short of crossing the finish line. Second time, it screwed me over right at the beginning, where I didn't even, like, hit anything, yet my wave bike jerked off to the left, and ran me straight into a rock and cost me the match. It was so stupid, though. The first time, I was really, like, two to three seconds away from hitting the final checkpoint, and it didn't count. It's so cheap. Okay, why would it mark an AA side if I'm not even in a, uh... Come on, stop being gay! Why would it even mark an AA side if I'm in a boat? Technically, I guess some AA, AA sites could hit a, uh, boat. Like the Scorpion Guns or whatever they're called, the, like, Quad Triple A's, I don't know what they're called, could technically hit me. But, I wouldn't really think that they would typically aim for something on the ground. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, last time I had gone down to, like, 30-something health, too, and I was running low on, and I ran out of time, so it was kind of messed up. Okay, we're going to slow down a little bit here just so we don't risk getting stuck up in the rafters like I almost did right there. And on my first run. Alright. Now, there are actually four pirate challenges. Like, they don't have... Okay, that was kind of cool. They don't have any actual true missions. They have two outposts and four challenges. The challenges, two of them are easy, including this one, and this one and the very last challenge are easy. The two in the middle are not. Like, those two each have something annoying about them, but I don't think you actually have to complete both of them to 100%, luckily. Like, one of them, you basically have to deliver a truck of uh, rum from a UP base all the way, like, to an area really near the PMC. I think that's actually the Yobo O and the Truck Full of Rum mission that we have access to. Find that out at a different time, though. I think that's actually the name of the mission. Go! Yeah! There we go. Ah. Now we unlock the sports car. Alright, since I don't feel like walking all the way over there. On my way. Try and stay alive until I get there, eh? Yeah, run in a circle. That cigar that never runs out. All right, so we finished one with a twist. All right, where to, boss? Now let's head back to the Pirate HQ and begin the outpost mission. I bought a bunch of UP choppers. Anyway. Let's enter. What you been doing? What you got? So as you can see now, this one is uh, completed, I believe. Yep, fully completed. No. No way I'm never doing that. Now let's check out their shop real quick. See what they got. Let's buy some sports cars. Sports cars are awesome. Okay, so we don't really have anything else yet. Anyway, let's go to the Central Island Outpost. So let's see what we get. 300 grand, the light tank, the Piranha Patrol boat, and a fuel storage upgrade. No good, uh, nothing really good out of it, except for a new outpost. And this outpost, I never even go to, like, ever, except to do the challenge that's that goes with it. Because this outpost is, like, out in the farthest reaches of the game. Like, it's one of the farthest outposts. It's no harder than any of the other ones, I don't think, though. So as you can see, I bought some more Rogue Assassins. As you may have seen in my money, I have a lot more money, like about, yeah, 25.7 million. 
That's because I did the winching challenge a few times before I started recording, so I made quite a bit of money. One helicopter delivered. So that's going to be good for buying stuff and for bribes and all. Except, keeping a low amount of money is actually good for bribes because then the bribes are less expensive. Because the bribes get really expensive if you have a lot of money. And I mean it. Like, seriously. There's an easy island over there that we can take out. I think we have to take out that ship. Yeah. Nah, not too worried about that, though. Oh my god, that was actually kind of close. Lock on. That was close, too. Destruction. Okay, those are both my anti-tank rockets. Let's see what we can start taking out out here. Oh, crap! There we go. Okay, he's dead. Missiles are still chasing me. Yes, we got rid of them. Ha-ha! <laughs> Pwned! Okay, so there's no more anti-air here. Okay, I guess they're... Where's the anti-air site at? Whoa, okay. We're gonna make sure we land up here so it's gonna be easier for us. Looks like some airstrike munitions down here. All right, that actually worked pretty well. All right, so... Let's go on and land this. What the? What is shooting at my helicopter? Okay, that was gay. What the heck was that? There's nothing even here. You are gonna frickin' pay for that, as soon as I figure out who did it. Fail, it didn't even, like, do any damage, but whatever. At least they got in here. Come on, attack the outpost, not that area. One less BC soldier. You're gonna take out the outpost or not. Oh, never mind, we won't actually need it. Oh, I just did that without a crosshair. Epic. And now they are pretty much fully friendly. Very nice. Uh, we unlocked the Piranha Patrol boat. That's also good. And we unlocked the outpost. Uh, let's go on and steal this fuel so I have a little bit extra. Then I think we'll go on and uh, do the challenges associated with the outpost. Alright, what now? Man, what the heck is taking you in so long? The resource pickups are really glitchy for whatever reason. There are so many glitches in this game, it's kind of messed up. I mean, there are a lot of glitches in Mercenaries too. I don't know why. I guess they just didn't really want to refine it or something. Looks like I had to steal the fuel. There we go. Even if it says no resource to pick up, don't worry, it's usually wrong. But anyway. Alright. Uh, let's see what we get here. Calam Glamity Jane, alright. Mainland Outpost, Endangered Cargo. Yeah, Endangered Cargo is not fun. Let's go and buy that, though. That's all we need. So I think you get up to like 5,000 fuel as the max. Okay, the mainland outpost is actually kind of hard. That is actually one of the longer, harder outposts to take over. Okay, we don't get anything good out of beating the three levels of this challenge. So that's not fun. Don't get anything good out of it. But we have to do all three levels, unfortunately. Let's go. This one, it's not hard for the majority of the mission, but it's hard right at the very end. You guys will see why. 
Alright, first of all, it's glitchy as in that guy hits you right at the beginning. Endangered cargo. Get it, guys? Endangered birds. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ha uh ha. -huh. So, so, on the higher levels of this challenge, I believe you have to both deliver more cargo. Is the first thing you have to do, and you also have a lot more BZ resistance. But the first level, as in any challenge, is always easy. But be careful while you're driving. You gotta be, you gotta become a good driver to do this. Especially when you're driving up weird hills like this. And that happens. Great, we just lost a lot of cargo. But we have more... But for the first level, you don't even have to worry. There's more than enough cargo. And those guys will constantly try to ram into you. You hear the stupid birds squawking like every two seconds. That gets kind of annoying. This is the hard part, guys. You idiot! Come on! Don't hit me. Set. You have to make that jump perfectly. You've too many birds. Yeah, that's the hard part. If you don't line up that jump perfectly, you fail. It's so stupid. I mean, there's no other way to get over there that I know of. There probably is, and I'm just not thinking of it, but I don't know of any other way you can get to that part of the island. It's really annoying. Okay, let's start it again. Oh my god, I've already lost stuff because this guy doesn't know where to park his truck. Seriously? Yeah, that's kind of messed up. But anyway, let's try that one again. I know, what's annoying is like literally three of the four pirate missions are delivery missions. And honestly, I don't know anyone that likes doing delivery missions. They're not ever fun. You gotta be careful. You ram into one of those trees, you're gonna lose like all your cargo. You can't even slam on brakes that fast if you lose it. Okay, getting to here is not the hard part, as I said before. It's just making that jump. There we go. Ah! Am I gonna make it? Yeah, I'm actually gonna make it on this run. Wow. Barely, but I'm gonna make it. Alright, we did it. First level's completed. Good job, bud. You're the best driver I ever saw. Worth every penny. Alright, so that job is done. Very nice. We're running up on about 13 minutes here, so next time we will do the last two levels of that challenge. See you guys then.